40 miles an hour. 41. This is the Truxus Explorer, and this is what I call the Beauty and the Beast bike. This bike looks absolutely amazing and is one of the best paint jobs I've seen on a budget e-bike ever. And the beast side of it is this bike is like a tank. It's got a massive 750 watt Bafang motor that puts out 90 Newton meters of torque. This thing can climb up just about any hill. I mentioned it's got a Shimano drivetrain all the way from the shifter down to the rear derailleur and the cassette. That way you can climb up any hill and also reach those maximum speeds. And you're gonna want all the power from that motor and that drivetrain to push these massive 26 by four inch wide Kenda tires. These things are made for off-road and on-road. I definitely love these Kenda tires. And also to go along with that beastly side of this bike is a massive 48 volt, 20 amp hour battery. This is a huge battery, especially for it to be built into the frame. And this battery also has Samsung cells built into it. So this thing is gonna be quality all the way from a full charge to an empty charge. And then once you do empty that battery, you've got a three amp charger. So you're gonna be able to fill up this 20 amp battery in around five to six hours. That's lightning quick. Now this particular design that I picked out is a step through design. This makes it super easy if you're gonna be doing any type of commuting or if you may be on a little bit of the shorter side. Being able to just step right through the frame is super easy and convenient for anybody and everybody who wants to ride this bike. Now taking a look at the handlebars, you're gonna get that Shimano shifter and it's got eight speeds. You can click through all these gears really quick because they've got a trigger shifter that you just hit with your thumb or your index finger. And once you're at those super high speeds that this bike can go, you don't have to worry about your braking because those Tektro hydraulic brakes are gonna stop you on a dime. With 180 millimeter rotors front and back and also really comfortable levers, these Tektro brakes are definitely on the premium side. On your left side, you're gonna also be equipped with a control pad and a throttle. That's right, this is a class three e-bike, so it's gonna have a throttle along with pedal assist. This thing with the throttle alone can get you up to 20 miles an hour. And I have found with pedal assist, you can get this thing over 30 miles an hour. Shh, don't let them know because class three e-bikes are only supposed to be able to go up to about 28. This machine can actually fly. It's absolutely incredible. And one of the things that you'll notice first whenever you step onto this bike is that massive screen. The screen that comes on this bike is really nice. It's super easy to read. Everything is spread out really well so it doesn't feel really cluttered. You can easily see your speed and what pedal assist you're on and not to mention some other stats like your miles, your odometer, and the amount of watts that you're actually putting out. And then whenever you turn on the headlight with this simple button over on the control panel, you'll notice that the LCD screen actually is backlit. This thing is just the right brightness because when it's dark outside, the screen isn't so bright that it's blinding you. And whenever it's light outside, it's still bright enough to where you can actually see the screen in full sunlight. Now this is equipped with a headlight that will get you home in the darkest situations. And then also, if we're talking about lights, this comes with equipped rear taillights. I absolutely love this. There's two of them actually, one on each seat stay. And whenever you squeeze the brake levers, these things start to flash. So the people coming up behind you will know whenever you're slowing down, which makes this bike even safer than the average e-bike out there. Two extra bonuses that come pre-equipped on any of the models that you purchase in the Truxus Explorer line is the rear rack and also the metal fenders. Now they do have the option to get a model with a front basket, which is a really cool add-on if you're gonna be doing a lot of trips to the store and back home. So this bike right now is retailing for $17.99 with a normal retail price of $22.99. That's right, this thing is already on a massive sale. But if you wanna pick up one of these right now and you use the coupon code RUNBIKEMIKE, you'll get an additional 10% off your purchase. That's a pretty good deal. So if you are gonna pick one of these up and use that coupon code, you might as well use the links that I've got below in the description because that helps out my channel a little bit at no additional cost to you. Now, if you're worried about rider height for this bike, I can assure you that you don't need to worry about that because they claim that it'll work for anybody that's five foot four up to six foot 10. 
I am 5'11", and this bike fits me absolutely perfectly. But my wife, who is 5'3", rode it with no problems whatsoever. We dropped the seat down with about an inch left to actually go all the way down, and she was able to pedal this thing with no problem at all. In fact, she could even put her feet flat on the ground. So now that we know a little bit more about this Truxxas Explorer step-through bike that I'm reviewing, let's go ahead and let's take it outside and see exactly how this bike performs. So I'm not taking this out on my traditional commuting ride that I typically test bikes on. I'm taking it on a little bit different ride since I have the day off. Now on this particular route, we are going to experience some hills, some curves, and some flat sections. So this is going to be a really good test over 10 miles out and 10 miles back to see how this battery performs. Now whenever I do my tests for all these e-bikes, I'm always cranking them up to PSA 5 or the maximum that they go. I want to really push these batteries as hard as I possibly can. And this battery performed just as good as I thought it would. With the Samsung cells and the 20 amp hour capacity, I had no problem making the entire trip. In fact, this bike actually surprised me quite a bit. It turned out that it's extremely high powered. I was able to get this thing up to 33 miles an hour and I never felt the motor cut out. Now I was able to hit those max speeds on the flat sections, but whenever I climbed some of these steep hills with upwards of 19% grade, it had no problem climbing those hills and maintaining 15 to 17 miles an hour. This bike is truly a beauty and beast. It is really pretty impressive. I did get my wife on this bike and we took a pretty long trip also and she found it to be completely enjoyable. She doesn't ride bikes all that much, so lowering the power down to power assist two and letting her switch between the gears was really intuitive and easy for her to do. So if you're new to bikes or experienced in bikes, you can either take advantage of the real raw power that this bike actually offers, or you can take it easy and just kind of stroll along. And I really think this bike is made for anybody who's wanting to go on some really fun adventures or maybe commute to work or to the store. Okay, so we're at the bottom here. I'm gonna shift down just so I can get going. Got it in pedal assist five. We're just gonna give it everything we can. Like we got up to about 21 before the hill really started. This is about the 12% grade part. Gets upwards of about 15 here. We're down to 16.7 miles an hour. Sixteen miles an hour. This is the steepest part. 13, 12, 11, 10. Can we maintain 10? Oh yeah, we can maintain 10, back to 11. All right, it did really good. That hill is, like I've said before, it's absolutely crazy. Downhill now. See how these Tektro brakes do. Thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty miles an hour, forty-one, Woo. <laughs> forty-one miles an hour and that felt super stable. So there you go, that's the Truxxas Explorer. This bike, I've gotta say, actually really surprised me. Over all the commuting style e-bikes that I've been riding over the last couple of months, I've gotta say, this one definitely has the best looking paint job and felt the most solid out of all the e-bikes that I've ridden. I'm extremely impressed and I definitely see why the original MSRP was $2,299. But the fact that you can get it for under $2,000 and it's got this massive battery, beautiful paint job, solid construction, good components, and it's as fast as it actually is, is pretty impressive. If you guys enjoyed this video, click that like button and the subscribe button and leave me a comment below. And if you really wanna help out this channel, 
jump over and join my drop-in crew pro members in the member section on my YouTube page. And then of course, if you do decide to pick up one of these bikes, use my coupon code, RUNBIKEMIKE, save an extra 10% off your purchase and use my links below to also help out the channel. So thank you for watching and we'll see you guys in the next one.